Let me begin by offering you a word of comfort. You're not alone. I'm here with you. This is not an AI voice. I'm a real person. I've been a pastor for over 20 years. I understand prayer. I understand spiritual warfare praying. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to guide you through a prayer. And we're going to get everything back on track where you can get back to sleep and you won't have to worry about nightmares anymore. I fully realize that it can be a jarring thing for you to wake up from a nightmare and it can feel overwhelming. But just know this, you're not alone. God's right here with you right now. And right now I'm here with you and we're going to get everything back on track so you can go back to sleep get a restful night's sleep. You don't need to carry any fear, any worry with you right now. So right now, just do this. Take a deep breath. Relax. Let the peace of Christ watch over you as we enter into this time of prayer together. Now, the spiritual realm, dear friend, it's, it is very real. But so is the authority of Jesus. And he reigns and he rules over every aspect and every part of creation. Nightmares are no match for his power and for his protection. So let's come into agreement together right now in prayer under the kingdom authority rule of Jesus. He is the king of kings. Jesus has authority over all things, including whatever is at the root cause of your distress tonight. So let's come into agreement and align ourselves under the kingdom authority rule of Jesus. Lord Jesus, we come under your kingdom authority rule right here and right now. You are Lord over heaven and earth, and we submit ourselves fully to your reign. There is no power, no principality, and no evil force that can stand against you. We acknowledge that you are in control right here and right now in this moment. And we place our lives and our minds under your protection. Now I want to encourage you to take a moment and let's break any soul ties or connections that might be lingering from this day. Think about any movies or TV shows or any media that could be affecting your mind. Have you seen anything today that was out of the ordinary, something that was scary or something like that? That could be something that's causing this at the root, giving them access. Consider any unresolved conflicts or emotions from today. If anything comes to mind, then ask the Lord to forgive you of whatever it was you were involved in and ask for his grace to grant you the ability to repent from that. So just break free from all of that right now. So this is, we're going to take a moment here and just make sure that you don't have any soul ties that are connected to this day. So pray with me like this. I break all soul ties with anything I watched, listened to, or engaged in today that is not aligned with your kingdom Lord Jesus, I break soul ties with every person I had conflict with or any person I had unhealthy connections with today. I release them and I send all their warfare to the foot of the cross for their sanctification in Christ. I choose forgiveness and I choose grace. Now let's take a moment to speak the names of those people or things that come to mind, breaking any ties and releasing them into the hands of Jesus. Just think about that right now. You can just, if you're in bed alone right now, you can just mention those out loud, or if you've got earbuds in and there's someone close by you don't want to, just, you can even think about their names. Just hold those before the Lord. Lord, I just break all soul ties with, put the name in there. Break all soul ties with whatever media or movies or music, any entertainment, videos. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, rena we're going to renounce any access points and we're going to clear out all the spiritual atmosphere in your heart, soul, and mind. And this is important right here. So next, 
What we need to do right here is we're going to close off any access points the enemy may have used to enter into your mind. Sometimes our thoughts, whether negative, angry, or fearful, can be doors that the enemy uses to stir up fear, anxiety, and that's what causes the enemy to be able to get a foothold and to bring in the nightmares. So pray with me like this, Lord, I renounce all evil thoughts, negative thinking, anger, bitterness, unforgiveness, pride, fear, and anxiety. I break agreements with these thoughts and emotions. I close the door to any influence the enemy has had in my mind in Jesus' name. This is a critical part of spiritual warfare. When you renounce the, these access points, you're cutting off the enemy's ability to torment you through your thoughts. Now, let's invite the Holy Spirit to come into the room where you are right now. His presence brings peace, and none of this other stuff can remain that's causing your nightmares. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, I ask you to drive out every evil spirit from this room, from this house, from this property, from this dwelling place. Sweep out any witchcraft, all hexes, curses, or incantations that may have been spoken over this place or over my life. By your power, remove anything that is not of you and drive it out never to return. I ask you to build a shield of protection around this room, around this dwelling, and around this entire property. Lord, form a wall of fire in the spiritual realm that no witch, no demon, and no evil force can pass through. I ask you to send your mighty warring angels to stand guard over me, over this dwelling place, over my property, and over my family. Protect us by your mighty power and drive away every device and plan that has been sent against us. So now, dear friend, that we have cleared the space and closed the doors to the enemy, we want to invite the Holy Spirit to fill you with peace and comfort. Let's pray, Holy Spirit, fill my heart, mind, and soul with your peace. Calm every fear and quiet every anxiety, every anxious thought. Let your truth flood my mind. Fill me with your love, your joy, and your peace. I ask you to give me restful sleep tonight in Jesus' name. I ask you to protect my dreams and let them be filled with your presence and your truth. I ask that when I wake up in the morning, that your goodness will be the first thing on my mind. Let's pray about tomorrow now. It's tonight. I pray that you protect me and guide me from every evil influence tomorrow guide me away from them alert me when i'm approaching moments where the enemy could gain access to my heart or mind help me take every thought captive to the obedience of christ lead me tomorrow into your kingdom purpose and give me the wisdom to recognize any attack before it ever even happens father i trust you completely you are my protector, my refuge, and my strength. I rest in your promises, knowing that you will keep me safe. I thank you for your peace, for your presence, and for your protection over me as I sleep tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, dear friend, take a deep breath and know that you are surrounded by God's love and his power, that his angels right now, they're guarding you and his peace is filling you. 
rest in that truth tonight and let the peace of Christ guide you into restful sleep. You're under the protection of the King of Kings. There is no force of darkness that can stand against his authority. So dear friend, rest tonight, knowing that he is watching over you and that in the morning, you will wake up refreshed and filled with his peace. Now, if you wake up again this night or any other night, all you got to do is simply repeat this prayer, knowing that God's word is strong and it's stronger than anything that ever comes against you because of your position in Christ Jesus. His presence is with you and you are safe in his hands. So sleep well, dear friend, knowing that you are covered by his grace and his power. Have a good night.